Not really. It was more a question of how do we get there faster. Yes, every day. Initially, no, but at some point, yes. Nope. I knew that I had nothing to lose by starting Reshape, only to gain, and I did gain a lot, so no. Absolutely. Um, every now and then it does come up because you've got so many things um, that you've got to juggle in life, and yeah, it does come up. Um, I would say the toilet. <laughs> Don't judge me. This will have to be me working on the beach. And I think everybody was looking at me weird because no one was working there. In the car on the way to my sister's engagement. So while coming downhill from some trip uh, for five hours straight and still working on reshape related things. Probably while I was walking around London and I had to uh, fix a video edit. No, I will never retire. But I do think that I'll find different ways to bring in income more passively. I don't see myself retiring. I think um, I will always work on something. Never. I think I do plan to retire um, as early as possible because I'm lazy. Um, but I also think that retirement for me means not having a 9 to 5. But it doesn't mean not doing anything. I don't know, honestly. I have no clue like when I want to retire because there's still like so much that I want to do and so much there's like, you know, so much I want to learn. So. I don't know. Yes, I would think overthinking. Procrastination. Sometimes I can't separate work from my life. And by work, I mean all the additional things I do. I think my biggest weakness would be that I cannot confront people. I see potential in just about everyone, I think. And I think sometimes I can play to a disadvantage. They should teach us how to do our taxes and, you know, how to pay council tax. How, what does income tax mean? What are the different things that appear on your payslip? How to deal with failure. I think everyone faces it at some point or the other, but no one necessarily knows how to deal with it. Uh, might be too specific, but personal financial literacy. I would say just promoting this one track mind that universities do, whether it's banking or engineering or whatever, just opening up people's perspectives and expanding their box, I think would make a huge difference. I guess how to express yourself, like, you know, how to communicate with different people. I would say initially, in the first few years, it, would be, it, it can be hard, but uh, later on in life, yes. I think it is. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I think it is, but it's all about prioritizing and knowing what really matters to you. Absolutely. If you've got routine down and you know got a bit of discipline, it is achievable, although it does go out the window from time to time, and that's you know part of the startup grind. Um, the machine but the sheen as in my name. Koya, that means lost in Hindi, I don't know. Probably my name or my initials, name, answer there. I think I'd call it Blastoise, if you know, you know, as in the Pokemon OG fans. I would call it my Twitter handle, go and follow at the official G JTA. Uh, uh, YouTube, social media, the creative bits. Generally the people, I absolutely love the people I've been working with, especially the four co-founders. Grand and Vision. The people. The team. The people. The team. Yeah. Or sometimes the people. No, I'm kidding. Um, I would say, yeah, client relations. Uh, sticky one, no. The admin bits. I have to say it's the fact that we are all in different cities and we don't get to see each other. Oh, client relations. Joel. <laughs> uh, don't kill me. No, I'm kidding. It's the fact that we have to do all this work online. You know, honestly, like I wish we were in a physical space, like, you know, where I could interact with my team, with the client. That would have been so much better. I forget, I'm a bad texter, but I'm improving, or at least I think so. So I have not really ghosted people. Um, I have to say the one that I can remember very recently is someone I've ghosted who just became a bit toxic in terms of a friendship where they were you know, not good for me. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Well, I hate it when people try to hard sell me. Um, that's, I think, the worst possible thing that can, someone can do. Hey, we've got office space, blah, blah, blah. You should come and like, you know, uh, buy an office space. I, I, don't know. I don't know. It's just, that's not the way to go about it. Hard selling is a no-no. I would, so like, if there is a reason for me to go with someone, because I'm an overthinker, I would think like, you know, if I do send a text, like whatever the text is, how would the other person feel and like how would they react? And that thought, that fear stops me from sending the message in the first place slash ghosting. So yeah. A hundred and ten <laughs> is how basic. Uh, I would say a five, a six, probably a six. Some things two or three and some things nine or ten. Quite basic. I'm pretty cheap. I'm like 
I would say three maybe, yeah. I am not basic. Okay, maybe I am. Um, a little bit. Um, maybe like a 1.25, I will say. I how to communicate, you know, how to carry a conversation, how to communicate with different people, like, you know, with different personalities. I've learned that people are very willing to help. A lot about the legalities behind starting a business. Patience. How to lead compassionately, I think. I will say friendly. It's a community. Spontaneous, I guess. It's very community driven. Quirky. Definitely quirky. Person. Oh, definitely night person. I cannot wake up early in the morning and we usually have reshaped calls at 11 and I'm usually waking up at 11. A morning person. Definitely night person. See, I've got days where I wake up at 5 a.m. to run and I've got days where I go to sleep at 5 a.m. Mm, it depends. Yes, 100%. Um, I think you mature, you learn how to be independent, um, you burst out of that bubble. Definitely yes. Yes, I would. University was the best time of my life. I still say that and I have spent eight years at university. Yeah, absolutely. Um, whilst I don't always find the academic sort of stuff um, always relevant to what, what, what we're doing in the startup sort of life, uh, I would still say it's important for maturity and things like that or just do something else for three years, like sort of traveling or whatever it is that helps you gain perspective. Yes, I would, for sure. I think it's a key part of who I am right now, like, you know, what I've become in a way, but I would do a different degree. I would do a different course, so. Definitely. Well, life, life. For sure. 100%. Um, like, if I'm in the UK, I feel I have FOMO for not being in Dubai. If I'm in Dubai, I have FOMO for not being in the UK, so. Yes. Um, but I think the pandemic has helped to reduce that feeling, but overall, yes. Um, not really. A lot, yes. Um, it depends. Um, I don't feel FOMO about parties or things like that. But Podcast? I think like, I think my whole life I've read like five, not five shit. <laughs> a handful of books, okay. Yeah, a handful of books. Podcasts. So I'm a bit of both. Uh, I would like to say books, but I feel like a hypocrite because I have a podcast. Books. YouTube videos. Um, so I tried this whole taking notes on iPad and it's fun. It was fun with the Apple Pencil and then I got bored of it. So I am very much a notebook person. A uh, notebook. iPad. Notebook. I'm kind of old fashioned that way. Uh, definitely notebook. I'm still an Android slash Windows user. I have not turned to the dark side yet. So and will not, hopefully. Hot chocolate um, or a caramel frappuccino. Definitely tea. That's a soy white mocha grande uh, for anyone that wants to buy me coffee from Starbucks. Tea any day, twice a day. Tea, for sure. Uh, granted that I can't choose hybrid, work from home. Um, I have enjoyed working from home. I don't mind it. The only issue I have is that you don't have any social time. And I think that's one thing that I miss. I've definitely gotten used to working from home, but I think office. I would say office, um, yeah. Office slash university, yeah. Increasingly, Twitter and Instagram. Um, yeah, I would say those are the top two. And oh my God, LinkedIn. How could I forget LinkedIn? Oh, definitely Instagram. 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 Instagram, um, I think my my usage time speaks a lot, so for it. Entrepreneur in the flesh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, now and always, I would say, uh, unless I go broke beyond my ass, then I would probably uh, get a job to just support, but I would still always be doing the entrepreneurial things, yeah. Entrepreneur. Both at the same time, uh, but if I had to choose entrepreneur. At the moment, I like having a bit of both because I'm still learning. I feel like there are a lot of skills that I still have to gain. But in the long term, definitely I would like to be an entrepreneur. I think definitely at the end of the day, ultimate goal is to be an entrepreneur. But also like, you know, before I do become one, I want to I want to know like how it is to like, you know, work under someone before I learn how to lead someone else. So yeah, but the ultimate goal is to be an entrepreneur. So yeah. I have to say I haven't really ghosted people, but usually if I have, Alexa, stop. Um, I have to say, ah. <sighs> sorry about Alexa. Um, yes. Um, great. Thanks.